Alrighty, folks, so this is part two to the last video. We're going to go over some more companies in this video. We'll break down some more earnings, estimates, EPS, revenue, all that good stuff. And we'll break down the Fed, what to expect for this upcoming week. But before we do that, of course, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, guys. Once you use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo, open up your account, fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks right off the bat. And if you fund your account, with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and listen to this guys if you fund your account at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you also get a free share of either tesla stock or expedia stock which makes this promo a no-brainer so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link full disclosure it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers let's dive right into the video and not waste any time and bang out these stocks guys because we have a lot to go over and i want to break down the fed which we might as well just go over that right now to start off the video and by the way if you all find value hit that like button and make sure to subscribe we're almost at 30,000 subscribers guys and i think 60 to 65 percent of you watching are not subscribed so if you were to subscribe we could almost be at 30,000, maybe at the end by the end of this month it's possible so hit that subscribe button i appreciate you all as always now let's break down what's going on on wednesday at 2 p.m or uh yeah 2 and 2 30 p.m on the east coast so you guys can see right here let me make my face a little bit smaller my big old head there we go guys we can see at 2 p.m on wednesday we have the fomc statement which is the primary tool the fomc uses to communicate with investors about monetary policy it contains the outcome of their vote on interest rates and their policy measures along with commentary about the economic conditions that influence their votes and most importantly it discusses the economic outlook and offers clues on the outcome of future votes very very important guys and this is what we look forward to a lot especially uh you know when it comes to the fed and jerome powell because at 2 30 p.m we get the press conference which is the most important part in my opinion where we kind of get to see where powell's head's at the fomc they get asked a bunch of questions you guys you guys know how that goes right well jerome powell gets asked a bunch of questions and it's fun to watch and, and of course we also get the federal funds rate which let me zoom in a little bit we are forecasted to get a 25 basis point hike you guys can see right now we're at five and a quarter and we are projected forecasted to be at five and a half af uh, after um, Wednesday which again is when the FOMC statement is so that's going to be something worth keeping your eyes on and of course the markets are pricing this in this is nothing new as of the last statement we got news that on average the FOMC believes we we need two more hikes, 50 basis points, not each, but in total. So that's 25 basis points and 25 basis points. And it looks like we're going to get one right now potentially we'll see how it goes guys so on wednesday 2 p.m 2 30 p.m very very big for the economy keep your eyes out on that guys and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and let me actually now zoom in here on thinkorswim so we can break down some stocks that i'm looking at all these companies are set to uh, set to report earnings this upcoming week so the first one is let me pull it up here guys ebay ticker symbol eb a y and if you guys want to see part one which again we uh we broke down a bunch of more stocks check it out after this video of course in part one we go over um you know, a bunch of other companies big tech you know earnings estimates pretty much what we're going to do in this video uh and, and this video is obviously part two which we have so many companies to break down guys because there's so many reporting um this week so ebay set to report i believe on let me see thursday um the 26th that's actually wednesday i believe after the bell they're looking to do eps of 99 cents versus last year's 99 cents guys and when it comes to revenue they're looking to do 2.51 billion dollars versus last year's 2.42 billion which would be up around three three and a half roughly four percent year over year really nothing crazy uh, and you guys can see their stock based on the chart is breaking out we have a golden cross we're above the moving averages we're taking out the highs from the last couple of months this is looking really bullish right now heading into earnings so keep your eyes on ebay i'm looking at that one very closely as it is approaching highs here on this time frame at least uh you know as of right now we also have mcdonald's mcd they're set to report i believe on 
uh, Thursday or are they Wednesday as well? Yeah, I think they're Thursday in the morning. And look at this. This is an ascending triangle straight out of the textbook, guys. We can see we have higher lows being made, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. But at the same time, we have resistance at 299 to about 300 bucks. And that's where McDonald's has been struggling over the past couple of months, pretty much three months at this point since the end of April of, uh, you know, this year, obviously, three months ago. So, okay, my alerts, where, where's it at? 300 bucks. So we're going to keep it there. Maybe I'll put another one at uh, maybe 298. I'll do that right now. So essentially, the way I'm looking at this is if the triangle plays out, all right, we could be, uh, you know, breaking out maybe towards 310, 315, maybe even higher. So they're looking to do 278 EPS, $2.78 versus last year's 255 on revenue of $6.26 billion versus last year's $5.72 billion expected. That's looking to be up around uh, 9 and 10% year over year. So watch out for the triangle here on MCD, guys. Let's see if it ends up playing now. And we also have Enphase this week, very strong growth company that I'm looking at. And this stock has been beaten down and it's slowly starting to reverse. Not fully there yet, but we're almost there, guys. And I do believe if it breaks above 190, 200, there could be a lot more upside on end phase. So ENPH right now, they're set to report, I believe, on Wednesday, the 26th. No, 27th. I, I believe that is Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, guys. They're looking to do EPS of $1.25 versus last year's $1.07. So they are going to be growing year over year on EPS. That's great. And revenue is looking to come in at $722.15 million versus last year's, get ready for this, $530 million expect or not expected, but at, you know that's what they reported last year. So that's growth of 36% year over year. That's pretty strong. But again, based on the charts, we're not fully reversing yet, but we could be if we do start breaking above a buck 90, which is where I'm going to set my alert now. Mark is that we're above 190 bucks per share. So Ford is the next one. Let me pull up Ford guys. They're set to report, I believe Wednesday or Tuesday. They're earlier in the uh, week. Um, no, they're not. They're on Thursday. They're on the 27th. Let me double check. Is Thursday the 27th? I don't want to give you guys uh, false info here. I think it should be right. Right. Um, yeah, that's Thursday. Yep. 27th is on Thursday. So they're set to report on that day as well. And this stock has been destroyed, guys. We have a uh, head and shoulders arguably here on the four hour chart forming, which is not the most bullish sign at all. You guys can see that um, right here. And mind you, right now in this time frame, they are trading under both moving averages. So they're looking to do EPS of 54 cents versus last year's 68 cents. So that's under what they did last year. And revenue is going to be growing year over year on the flip side, which is good. 40.23 billion is what they're looking at versus 37.91 billion last year. That would be up around 6 to 6.1% year over year. Not bad guys at all. Pretty good if you ask me, especially in these uh, interesting times that we're living through. So this stock actually ran to the mid 15s, big move guys. And now we're down about 11% off that high, but we're still up around 23% off the lows from the beginning of uh, actually the end of May. So Ford's in an interesting spot, no doubt. It's more oversold um, you know, right now, but, but, but then again, like I said, we're still up a lot uh, in the past couple of weeks. So it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out when earnings actually come out. And we're also expecting Intel's earnings this week. Let me pull them up, uh, the stock up, and show you guys what it's looking like. So Intel, as of Friday, went up around 2%, and we have a clear inverse head and shoulders right off the bat here on Intel. Do you guys see this? Pretty textbook. If you ask me, we have the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. And if it breaks above 35, that's where the right shoulder could really start to play out, right? We can see, uh, you know, visually, let me draw it out. If that breaks, boom, 37, maybe even higher is where we could be going. So they're set to report, I think on Thursday as well. Uh, yeah, Thursday after the bell, they're looking to do EPS of negative four cents versus 29 cents last year. So they're taking a big beating on EPS and on revenue. They're looking to do $12.12 billion of revenue versus last year's 15.32. That is down over 20% year over year. Uh, but still, I mean, this thing, the chart is looking pretty decent. We're above the moving averages. 
it could play out either way. My alerts at 35, let's say they surprise on earnings. This could be flying through that, and we could be getting uh, a nice move on it. We could make some money, guys. The, the key word is could. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. And please trade at your own risk, guys. Trading is very risky. You should know that at this point in time. So the second and last stock I want to go over, guys, is Boeing, ticker symbol BA, which talk about a flat stock. I mean, this thing's been flat all year, probably since the end of last year. Actually, no, pretty much all this year. Yeah, since the beginning of uh, January, we've been flat. And this company set to report earnings, I think, on Friday or Thursday. Let me see here. Um, it looks like on the 26th. That's actually on Wednesday. So Wednesday morning, we have Boeing, and they're looking to do EPS of negative 90 cents versus negative 37 cents last year. So that is not good. Their loss is almost triple what it was uh, last year. Not quite yet, but pretty much there, two, three times higher than last year. But on the flip side, revenue is looking to grow about 10%. Last year, they did 16 point six eight billion now they're looking to do eighteen point three seven um, you know, this upcoming quarter or, or the quarter they're about to report for. And maybe that, you know, that'll get this stock out of this sideways funk that it's been in all year. I mean, if I get the channel out, you guys will be able to see. Let me show you this. Boom. We've been trading sideways uh, you know, all year. I mean, you guys can see that right here. Pretty obvious, right? So my alerts at 225. We'll see if it breaks that. If so, that'd be great for the bulls. And the last stock that I want to go over guys is Roku. Let me pull it up. Roku is set to report earnings, I believe on the 27th. So that's on Thursday after the bell and this stock out of nowhere, what the heck's going on here? I think I missed, I missed it. What went down on the 10th of July, guys, this stock went from 62 all the way to 80 by the 11th, 12th of July. So something happened probably that I'm missing. Uh, looks like they got a new deal. Uh, let's see here. Let me come down a little bit. Roku and Freewheel announced strategic partnership to bring Roku's leading ad tech to Freewheel customers. I'm not sure what free will is, guys. I have no freaking idea, to be honest. Uh, but I guess that is the catalyst that did send the stock soaring. And since that point, it has come down a little bit. It's cooled off about, uh, you know, six, seven bucks, around eight percent, six, seven percent. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it's right by the 50 SMA now. I have a feeling it could gap down to the 180, maybe at around $67 ish. Maybe it goes down there. I don't know. Uh, but we have earnings coming up this week. They're looking to do EPS of negative $1.27. So they're going to lose money versus last year's negative 82 cents. So uh, the loss is also widening over at Roku, guys. Uh, they lost money last year. They're losing even more money per share this year, uh, projected. And revenue is looking to come in at $772 million million dollars versus 764 last year that's barely up around one percent if that uh so yeah roku guys fundamentally i'm not the biggest fan of it but as a trade uh you know looking at it as a trade it's definitely one of those that is very tradable a lot of volume a lot of swings and now we're pulling down a good chunk so let's see man maybe right around 68 to 70 it could be uh you know a spot that i'm looking at we'll see how it goes and with that being said i'm gonna wrap up the video guys if you enjoyed it hit the like button make sure to subscribe we're almost at 30,000 subs, guys. I appreciate all of you for watching as always. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo. Simply use that link down below. Open up your account. Fund it with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks right off the bat. And fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks. And listen to this, guys. Fund your account at least $5,000 on top of those 15 stocks. You also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Expedia, which, guys, that part of the promo is insane. And you have to take advantage of it right now so use that link down below and of course that is an affiliate link full disclosure it helps out the channel i appreciate you all as always and with that being said cheers i'll catch you in the next video